Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for being interested in this tutorial. And if you're a bit surprised, why are you seeing a website opened here and not Figma? Uh, the reason is that uh, I just, I, I kind of picked a few websites because today we're gonna talk about uh, making a header with a mega menu, which behaves like that. Okay, I'm, we're gonna do something pretty similar to this one, okay? This is the site of uh, the website of Versace, uh, and actually I like the way that they handle the mega menu. Uh, what you see here is actually um, kind of a structure, a template of using all the real estate of the page, which is coast to coast, which is good. And I think, of course, I mean it depends on on uh, on the website that you're doing, or it depends on your needs. Each case to itself. Uh, not all websites have a full width. Um, uh, mega menu but some of them uh, a lot of them are I mean basically more in e-commerce and stuff like that so it's what we're gonna do today uh, something similar to that oh they have this hover effect you know what we can do that as well actually it's it's quite simple it's really like a few minutes to do that in Figma so that's one uh, I, I also picked this one because we're gonna use uh, we're gonna do this you see the hover effect that these lines have uh, under the categories where I'm at so we're gonna try and do this as well I'm mean, not gonna try we're gonna do it and succeed <laughs> of course and uh, so that's a quick silver website and yeah, just, you know, kind of like to get the hang of it. Uh, this is a pretty rough one, actually from ST Louder, but yeah, that's okay, of course. Uh, also they use, you see all these mega menus, basically what they do is you have a frame, okay, which contains whatever you want it to contain. It uses all the width of the page and that is that is the way to work with it. Same as for Nike.com. They have a website which goes like that okay mega menu again but it opens i mean higher and shorter depends on the need of or what the category the category has usually you you see kind of like a title for the links and then you have all these links which you can click at in every menu practically it works the same so let's go ahead to figma <laughs> okay so uh let me make my ui maybe a bit bigger i guess or is it okay and let's do something like that i think it's okay good so what i pre-made to this tutorial tutorial sorry uh, i just took a screenshot of the versace header to have some kind of reference um, to what we are doing if we want anyway you know it doesn't really matter as I always say you do whatever suits your needs and your designs whatever your needs are okay so um, I have these icons which I made in Figma by the way kind of like copying these ones <laughs> so I kind of like made them there so just we can use them and not waste time on it now dead simple logo just from text that's it I <laughs> mean, that's about it and uh yeah so the way i approach it usually is i i i kind of design it at first i mean i see where i want to go with this and then i start making my components and then uh everything is just more simple because i see no um i don't see an uh, um the right way of like doing components first and then designing the header after because it can be a bit maybe confusing or it's not exactly what you need and so on i'm not going to refer to this banner you see this info banner uh, on top i'm going to leave that for now doesn't really matter let's kind of like do a frame over this one uh it's 83 yeah, i guess it's okay and we're gonna take it here and uh, I'm gonna take the logo and just place it in our header now as you see this text actually is a bit problematic why uh, it's a bit problematic because it's a great uh, font by the way Oswald I really like it it's very nice and it's usually the font that if you uh, notice my thumbnails uh, on my tutorials um a lot of them are with uh, oswald font which i love but as you see the space here and here i mean from here to here and from here to here is very different so that's why 
basically it's aligned to the middle of the vertical middle of the frame but it doesn't look like it sits in the middle because the practical text actually doesn't the i mean the actual text actually doesn't because of that so i'm going to just right click on it and outline stroke and when then i get the shape of this logo and anyway a logo usually is a vector shape okay it can be text um but then i guess it needs to be handled or kind of like fix its uh, text box better anyway so we have a logo that's about it uh i'm gonna do um a few nav or oh, it's okay option one yeah that's okay uh i'm gonna use the font this is the default font of figma which i think it's pretty cool um yeah just for the just for the sake of the demo i think it it does a good job um yeah you can use of course any font that you want it really doesn't matter but i'm gonna put the uh or there is gonna be a link for the materials of this website in the description of the tutorial so you can just download it whatever we do here you can just download and use it if you want um but anyway see how to do it so option one um do something like that and okay this is uh the size that i want and the font that i'm going to use i'm going to do only one because now i'm going to make a component out of it and this one actually uh, i'm going to combine as variants uh, by the way if you want to uh, give them a name like the component name before you actually um, union them as variants you can do that easily by look at that rename okay use the current name okay or you can do it like that uh, let's call it for now header icons slash and current name okay so you're gonna get actually i clicked on current name so now look at that okay we got header icon slash why why did i do that because now when i combine them as variants create component set you see that the name of the component is header icons and i have all my icons here pretty cool okay <laughs> so let's go ahead with that and now what we are going to do is I'm going to take the first, yeah, let's take this one. Okay, take this one, that's cool. And now actually what matters is that, um, you know what, let's do it like that. I'm going to duplicate, put one here, and then I'm going to auto layout both of them. Uh, I'm going to use some auto layouts here, not kind of like hardcore, but anyway, if you're not familiar at all with auto layout, I'm going to put links to a, to a few tutorials that you can just kind of like pick it up from there if you want and if you need. So go ahead and just do that. Okay, let's call them icons. How sophisticated? <laughs> Something like that. And then I'm going to uh, duplicate another two. Uh, let's give them kind of like uh, 20. Uh, 16 yeah that's okay okay so I'm gonna put it here and now basically when they are combined as variants okay we are using this component so you can just double click on it and you can select here profile and here um, it's gonna be the favorites and that is going to be the search the beautiful thing is that when you build it correctly notice the fact that this each one of them sits in the same size of a frame okay so when i switch it doesn't you're not gonna have kind of like a jumpy layout auto layout sorry that jumps every icon that you change because it sits in the same frame size each one of them so that's the way to do it and here i'm gonna build my uh, i'm gonna do this one as a component you know what one second i'm gonna have a line as i said i'm gonna have this rectangle uh let's give it a four or two let's give it a two eh, we can always change that that's okay um okay it snaps to the text uh let's see that this one is aligned to the middle and we are going to do this one at the 
and at the end of our header by the way i want the header 82 and not i love to work with um with um I like to work with um, with even numbers, okay? So it always kind of like uh, does a better work or kind of like sets itself better. So anyway, two, uh, is that good enough to, you know what, let's make it four. Let's be a bit more extravagant. <laughs> That's okay. Do it like that and let's give it round corners. Is that okay no you know what we don't need the round corners i want that and uh the color of it let's go crazy with an orange one yeah yeah let's do something like that anyway you can change it to whatever you want that's okay uh, for now I'll, I'll give it this color it doesn't matter and uh, i'm gonna take this and make this one auto layout you will understand why i'm doing it in a sec uh, auto layout um, and this one by the way this is the uh, selected selected line or indic oh sorry <laughs> this is a, a selected indicator yeah selected indicator good uh, so we have that and um, yeah okay so this one let's call it a uh menu item that's more right to say nav menu item and uh let me see okay this is going to be a component and now one second i want to select this one and give it a fill container okay you will see how it works in a sec and um okay so uh, the other thing which I'm going to do is going to add a property to this component, which is called text. I'm going to give it a label. Sorry. Yeah, you know what label is. That's okay. Label here and label here. That's okay. Current property. Um, let me see. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we're going to apply this property to this layer. Uh, sorry, not here, the content. Yeah, I'm still mixed with it a bit. Yeah, that's okay. So now, as you see, uh, whatever you will write here, look at that. I mean, when you will change the content here, um, here, no matter what i write <laughs> so that's pretty straightforward yeah i didn't write it well but anyway <laughs> yeah so you see the line stretches with the component which is pretty cool actually okay that's good and we're gonna add a variant to it okay so this is going to be the uh, that's not the default actually this is going to be the hover and this one let me see so the default we're gonna make this oh sorry I want to make this one a line center and this one a line center cool so now we're gonna make it smaller and give it a zero opacity that's good and this one is going to be to the center even this one actually to the center and this one when give it a now it's regular let's give it a semi bold okay yeah i think that's okay and this one we're gonna give it a bit of a brighter color like that okay so we have our two variants for our nav menu item and we will work with these so this one is going to be copied to here okay you will be here 
um, good and now we are going to do that yeah let's give it five or six five is enough that's okay sorry and where I'm going to auto layout them and uh, yeah that's pretty cool I think auto layout them let's give them a uh, 40 distance we can put it in the center uh, and that is gonna be cool nice and this one by the way let me see so this auto layout is going to be its constraints to the center of this frame okay and um, let me see over and we can change the content to let's say selected good okay it works perfect nice okay so we're gonna leave it like that for now and um, yeah we're gonna leave everything aligned to the middle yeah I think it's okay um, let me see yeah okay that's okay so now I'm gonna auto layout this Okay, I'm gonna auto layout this and actually it will be aligned to the center and let's give it a height of 82. And uh, this one actually, I'm gonna give it a height of, um, let me see. They're gonna be here. And I'm gonna give it a height of 82. Okay, good. So we got this one fixed. And by the way, if you want kind of like even distribution, no matter what inside this header, so um, we can go with this one. Okay, so that means that now, as you see, See? oh sorry this is pretty confusing because sometimes when you select this auto layout if you catch it from the middle you're actually I mean playing with the padding <laughs> of it yeah and it can be a bit confusing so you need to be careful with that so now as you see sorry for being jumpy there now as you see yeah okay that's good great so we created our header and now it works uh, it looks like it's working perfect uh, if you want to see how it looks we can make our let's make a page and give it a okay 1920 by uh, let's give it for now 940 and we can easily also add an image yeah so let's add a background image let's do something like that I'm gonna use uh, unsplash okay I'm gonna give it a zero opacity uh, sorry <laughs> zero spacing yeah that's what I meant zero spacing and this is one by the way we can give this one uh, should we give it a stroke do that from here hey, you know what this one uh, yeah okay never mind Let's leave the strokes thing, it doesn't matter right now. I just wanted to use the new ability that Figma gave uh, with the strokes. You can use that to give it a bottom stroke from here. But anyway, it doesn't matter right now. We're not gonna focus on that, so let's leave it. Okay, so this is the expanded version. Now this one, look at what I'm doing here. I'm gonna give it an absolute position when i click that when i will click that you will see that this menu just goes behind it that's okay we will fix it uh, in a in a minute okay so absolute position meaning that this layer goes on top of this layer and it kind of like float it's kind of floating in the auto layout itself okay so that's what happens i'm gonna align this auto layout to the bottom and just open it again good so we have it uh, like that let's see that we are precise yes okay good and now this is going to be 
collapsed. Okay, uh, collapsed, we have it, yeah. The only thing which I'm thinking now, before we even start with our image, you know what, let me make um, more variants to it. Yeah, I guess, because I think it's going to behave more smooth when I will. Okay, so I'm gonna take another two here and uh these ones i'm gonna call them let me see this was let's call it men and this one will be also men and uh we will make this component let me see we're gonna call it hover okay i'm gonna uh, do another one which is called over. Yeah, so this one is going to be no, this one is going to be yes. And uh, here I'm gonna call it woman. And this is going to be no. And this one I'm gonna call also, sorry, woman. And this one is going to be yes. And the only thing which I'm going to do now is I want to replace the image. Let me see. Um, let's take the image from here. Yeah, why not? <laughs> let's take this one and use this one. Good. So I'm going to put it here and I'm going to put it here. And actually, we don't need this one and this one. Sorry. No, that's not what I meant. Oh, this one we don't need from here. And this one we don't need. This one with image hmm, five. Okay, that will be image five and that would be here. And let me see, this one we don't need. This one we don't need. And that is going to be also image five. We're going to give it the same name. Let me just uh, make sure it works. Okay, it looks okay now. Um, I think so. Yeah, it looks fine. And this one actually, um, let's see if, let me see. Okay, now I can have a woman and I can have men. Okay, good. I think that's fine. Okay, let me see that we have the interactions. We do have them. And now, actually, I'm going to copy and paste to replace. And also here, paste to replace. Okay, good. So, uh, we have this one. Uh, let me see. This is absolute position no we already did that i guess <laughs> let me see yeah that is okay and this one actually the only thing that we have to do is just do like that and that's it so and this one will be collapsed that will be expanded good so now what we are going to do actually is we are duplicating this one and we're gonna do the woman 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 okay good uh oh no what did i do one second uh yeah i want to do these ones why did i do this one okay that's weird woman and this one is going to be woman good Okay, so now we have them all lined up as woman, woman, men, men. That's fine. And now, actually, what we are going to do is I'm going to switch this one to woman. And I'm going to do this menu actually dark. Okay, let's do these ones in white. Here, we're going to do the label in white. Okay, good. 
and we're gonna do the same also here uh, yeah woman and we're gonna have it dark yeah I wasn't the smartest way to how I did that but anyway yeah that's okay because that's a quick one no big deal okay good so now uh, let me see one second that it's working yeah it's working good okay looks fine to me we can go ahead and wire it all up so now i'm going to create a component set so we have them all as variants of this component which we call it a uh, header plus menu good and now i'm gonna work actually with not with the hover interactions i'm gonna work with mouse enter and mouse leave okay it works much smoother there's not gonna be kind of like uh the jumpy behaviors and the reason is that uh, i'm gonna change that in a sec because that's not its uh, default state so what happens is that when i hover on this for example if i work with the hover interaction i'm just explaining that for a minute when i hover on this one so it's gonna go to this state when i move my mouse from it it's gonna close the menu okay? and that's not what i want because i want the menu to stay open and have uh, the ability to interact with it same goes for uh, uh i want to switch between these menus without having them close um before it happens okay so let's see how it goes so this is going to be the default and i'm gonna connect it here and i'm gonna work with mouse enter meaning when the mouse enters the area of this button actually it's kind of a button so it goes all the way to here smart animate 400 milliseconds seems good to me the same thing by the way woman is going to take us all the way to here okay so this is going to be on a mouse enter okay um and now actually here we have to fix this one from being on its the, uh, hover state or the selected state and this one is going to be the selected one okay um so yeah so now we have uh, these guys both wired up to where they should and let's do the same from here we're gonna do this one as its default state and prototype wise it's gonna go all the way to here on a mouse enter the same thing goes to here on a mouse enter good so we have these two uh, wired up and now this one i want when my mouse leaves the area of all the menu i want it to go all the way back and close to here okay so this is going to be mouse leave and that's the same when my mouse leaves this area i want to have it bringing me back to this state okay um so it's going to be a mouse leave okay um that is good i'm wondering if we could have we could have one oh, you know what it's it's more kind of like uh it's more easy to work like that um and sometimes yeah i'm gonna have more variants but have it like working in a more precise way i guess uh yeah because this one i'll tell you why yeah the reason is that i have this um header i mean practically they look the same but i have this header uh, actually with both states of this menu 
opened and closed and i don't want to kind of like pile them up one on top of each other and it can get when we work with a few samples of menus it can get too messy so that's why i like to work with it like that okay good so now what we have to do is we have to connect also this one to here that is going to happen also on mouse enter and this one to here okay good so i think that we are all prepared to give it a test drive copy and here i'm gonna paste to replace it and uh yeah let's give it a play and see how it works Ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> by the way uh just pointing out let me see okay uh no you know what that's okay uh let's see okay good so that works nice now i'm switching to the woman okay so that doesn't work let's see why i, I think i live i left it on click yeah i didn't just do it on mouse enter so i'm gonna fix it now um let me see yeah that's on click so it should be on mouse enter uh, let's see if it works now so that goes smooth between them look how beautifully the hover interaction uh, works or so i can, kind of like the selected state interaction with this line that grows like that the menus switch very smooth between themselves you see the hover that we did works perfect nice uh when my mouse leave this area so that works perfect. Let's check it here as well. We are QAing all the possible situations. Uh, oh, sorry. And we did, by the way, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot to do it on a fixed width. Yeah, so now it should work fine. By the way, just pointing out that you see these black uh, spaces that we have here. It's just because I gave uh, this one I gave it a uh, height of 940, which is actually when I have my uh, bookmarks uh, toolbar here as well. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We can do it, let's say 1000, okay? And 1000 pixels, of course, that uh, the height of that this page is going, is going to be uh, at the height of the content that you have you can have a very long one up to I don't know maybe five six seven thousand pixels depends on your content so anyway now we have it fixed and our menu is working beautifully and that's it we nailed it all the way so yeah it was pretty long even longer than I thought but we dealt with a few things here uh, and I guess that at the end of the day, the result is what matters. So it's it works perfect. Okay, guys. So that's about it. It was a quite a long one, I guess, but I think a very educational one. Uh, and we did things like the way uh, it should be done. We approached it, I think, in a perfect way. Uh, not that I want to flatter myself, but yeah, I think that I did it kind of like all the way through. So. Uh, that's about it, I guess. Thank you so much for being interested in this tutorial. And uh, uh, you're going to have the materials as well to download. Uh, thank you so much. I would be very happy for your like and more happy if you subscribe to my channel. And more great tutorials are coming up ahead. Thanks a lot. See you in the next tutorial, guys. Bye for now.